Hey, what's up, my homies? Sky Fury DX here. Welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. Transformation boost, 200%. Perfect combat simulation today. But before we jump into that, I just want to make a special note. I just uploaded a video, like it's a pretty special video. It's a 100 subscriber milestone video. I'm giving away some gift cards in that. So if you want to go check that out, go check it out. Like and subscribe if the video helps you out. And I'm going to show you how to get this event done with very minimal issues whatsoever. I've put together a bit of a team that I think is going to be able to do this. So we're going to go up against the int stage because uh, one of the main damage dealers that I've got in this turn it's, uh, it's our boy uh, LR uh, Bugo tanks here, and the other one is uh, going to be cooler. Um, but, you know, like the thing about this team and using physical if you can, is it's also got another special weapon which is Weirus. Weirus here is changing two types of uh, key spheres to, um, to physical. And, uh, and then we've got uh, Goku here as well, who is also going to be able to um, super attack if need be. So I don't think that this is going to be uh, too much drama to get this one done whatsoever. So let's jump in. Make sure you got your uh, Debura cookies set for your support item. And uh, let's go. Okay, so this one here seems like it might be alright. Basically what I'm looking for here, I'm looking for Candy Vegito in the seventh slot and I'm looking for the booze on rotation because uh, these booze are going to activate a number of one another's links. Not really too important that we get a super attack here with Kid Boo, but it is uh, Boo Gotenks as he's like the prime damage dealer in the event. If we can change the rest of the orbs on the field to tech, we're going to be looking pretty good. We're going to have a very solid key field. So what's this look like? All but two orbs we're going to get. So that's 21 orbs there. Unfortunately, not able to get a super attack with Goku. Uh, basically, what we want to be doing here, like I've built um, Bugo tanks in such a way that he's getting 24% to do an additional as part of his hidden potential system. And on top of that, um, he has also got a 30% chance to additional as part of his passive. So if we get an additional here, we're going to be looking very, very good. There's the additional. Um, we've got cooler attacking on the next rotation as well, so if anything happens uh, here, we don't manage to take him out. Cooler sure will. Uh, okay, well that's it. Um, very, very easy. Just like that, we managed to um, get the event done just with the one turn. So uh, yeah, now we can uh, we can move on from here and we can go collect our rewards. And the only thing left to do is come in here and get all of our rewards. So um, this is the punching bag event. I mean, this one like you could say that I got pretty lucky on this one, um, but uh, I mean. Yeah, I mean, these punching bag events, really, like, for this one, what I was trying to get, like, was uh, Candy Vegito in the 7th slot. Um, it, like, I don't know, it's something like 50 refreshes or something like that. We didn't manage to get Candy Vegito in the 2nd slot at all. Uh, you know, if you're trying to showcase a unit, you're going to reload into the game, like, 10 times because that unit's going to be in the 7th slot. Like, that's just the way that it works. Overall, like, these punching bags aren't particularly enjoyable but you know if you can get them done within what half an hour of the event dropping and you don't have to worry about it for a few days now then that's fine that's great uh, so guys uh, thanks very much for watching the video uh, like and subscribe if it helps you out and i'll see you on the next one peace